what's up my people bless up on yourself welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber as usual my people may have some things i'm gonna share with you guys and the first thing we're gonna share is a man with the police them all up and in a clarendon them want him for triple murder for the longest while and him did the on the wanted wednesday you know jamaica constable force of a thing with them call wanted wednesday where them put out some pictures some of some man who wanted in another country so let me get into the story a man wanted by the police in relation to a triple murder was nabbed at a house in june or crescent clarendon on saturday he is charles walford also known as tallman who was featured on the jamaica constabulary force wanted wednesday on november 15. walford was listed as wanted by the saint andrew south police our news team understand that the police that a police team conducted a target raid at the home in Juno Crescent in Maypen in search of persons of interest, illegal firearms and evidence in a murder that occurred on Thursday, December 7 in the area. During the operation, Walford was taken into custody head of the Clarendon Police Division, Superintendent Carlos told our news team that cops remain relentless in their efforts to target criminals and are ramping up their presence for the Yuletide season. The Clarendon police continue to work hard to ensure the safety of the citizens of Clarendon as we approach the Yuletide season. We will continue to target the wanted men and violence producers. We have also put additional police in the Maypen Town Centre to ensure the safety of all persons using CM. So, this man come from St. Andrew, although I'm not sure because they, they want him if you murder where occurring at St. Andrew, you can come from anywhere. But it look like he come at Clarendon, come hide out. And the police, them happen to go up on a raid. A whole lamp on him when they check out him thing. They want him. You see it? So, leave your comment in the comment section. And we are going to move on, people, to a popular person. Enough people know him by name. Some know him by face. But one at a time, a him did a run the place. Because him name go get mentioned in a, a at Vibes Cartel song. You see me I say? And him name just blew up and him things start sell. And then, we don't really I see none of him product them. And we don't really hear nothing. Till the same Vibes Cartel go mention him again. Like, he must say, him can't see no roots. I want him to in business. So, this is a sad one, my people. Owner of Baba Roots gone down at Westmoreland home. So, I'm picture on a sip on the screen. William Webb, the owner of local herbal drink brand uh, Baba Roots, was reportedly gone down at his home in Darlistan, Westmoreland on Sunday morning. Deputy Superintendent of Police Adrian Hamilton in charge of operations in Westmoreland Police Division confirmed the incident to our news team on Sunday morning. According to police reports, four gunmen invaded Webb's room through a window at about 3.45 a.m. and shot him after a brief conversation. Law enforcement officers stated that the gunmen also ransacked his room webb was taken to the savannah lamar public general hospital where he was pronounced dead more details to come so would i like for ear you know what i mean what the reason although you hear people people famous you hear about them but you don't know where them are going with you know what i mean in the secret so i don't know if i mix up in mix up but it seems like maybe them did want something from him or something because them broke in him house them say had a conversation and calling him up and then ransack the place so maybe them not even find where them really go there for you see me i say so people sometimes you yeah, mix up with some type of people you yeah, have you know what i mean know where you are sign up for because you don't really know where a person are do when you're not around them you see it so r.i.p to baba roots you know what i mean and condolences to his family so we're gonna go over 
in the parish of St. Elizabeth, you know, my people, because a curfew has been imposed in Goshen, right? A 48 hour curfew has been imposed in sections of Goshen, of the Goshen community in St. Elizabeth. The curfew began at 6 p.m. yesterday and will remain in effect until 6 p.m. tomorrow. The boundaries of the curfew are so, I don't know them are place your people, but the people them are in the area, them I got recognize, you know what I mean? So, I just share it for people who no know. I know the place, right? North along imaginary line, five kilometers from Goshen Community Center to Mitcham Community. West along an imaginary line from Pepper Well Road to Wellington or Wellington Crossing. South along an imaginary line from Rollins Garage to NHT Housing Scheme. East along an imaginary line from Rollins Garage to NHT Housing Scheme. During the curfew, all persons within its boundary are required to remain within their premises for 48 hours unless authorized by the ground commander. Since recently, there have been a flare-up of criminal acts committed in the parish. Six people have been murdered in the parish in the last 48 hours. And that is alarming, people. So, we are going to move on, you know, <coughs> to over in St. Catherine. Man gone down in Banbury District, St. Catherine. Detectives... At the Linstead Police Station in St. Catherine are investigating the murder of a man in Banbury District on Friday. The deceased has been identified as 52-year-old Clive White, who is from the community. About 4.30 a.m., residents reportedly heard explosions and later found White's body along the roadway. The police were summoned and checks revealed that White had multiple gunshot wounds to the upper body. He was transported to the Linstead Hospital where he was pronounced dead. No motive has been established for White's murder. Jaja. So people, you know, just be careful out there. You know what I mean? And bless upon yourself. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And click the top bell icon after you subscribe so you can get um notification whenever anything new is on the channel and please give me a thumbs up on the channel so bless up on yourself again my people and thanks for watching